So begin in constructed rest pose. Lie on the back with the knees bent, the feet in line with the sit bones, arms wider than the mat. Turn your palms up and spread the shoulder blades. Lengthen the back of the neck. If you like, you can place a small cushion or folded towel behind the head. And then let the body relax down into the pull of gravity. Let the breath move naturally. And make as little muscular effort as possible. Feel your feet against the floor. Balance the feet so you've got equal weight on the inner and outer foot, on the forefront and the heel. Let your sacrum drop down into the mat and adjust so that you're evenly on the left and the right side of the back of the pelvis. Relax the muscles in the belly. Feel the neutral curve of the lower back. Let the ribs expand naturally with the breath. Once again, notice the shoulder blades. Perhaps you can bring them a little wider. And turn your head slowly from one side to the other to check that the neck is in a comfortable position. Then we'll begin with arm lifts. We'll bring the arms in a little closer to the sides with the palms facing each other. In the mind's eye, picturing the muscles of the pelvic floor, which are anchored at the tailbone, the sit bones, the pubic bone, forming a diamond shape there. And the transversus abdominis, like a big broad belt coming horizontally around the whole to uh, lower torso. And then inhale, bring the arms up to vertical. Feel the humeral heads dropping down into the socket as the hands raise. As you exhale, engage the inner core. Feel your pelvic floor engage and the belt comes snug around the lower back so your neutral spine stays in place. And we inhale, bring the arms straight up to the ceiling again. And with the exhale, relax the arms down and relax the work of the core muscles. Soften to as little as possible, let yourself give into gravity. And again, with the inhale, float the arms up to vertical. And exhale, engage the pelvic floor and the transversus abdominis belt as you reach the arms back. Feel your lower back maintaining its neutral curve. Inhale, bring the arms straight up to the ceiling, humeral heads dropping into the sockets. And exhale, lower the arms down to the sides, softening as much effort as possible, giving into the pull of gravity. One more time, inhale, bring the arms up to vertical. Exhale, engage the pelvic floor and the transversus abdominis belt. Keep your neutral pelvis, neutral spine as you reach the arms back towards the floor behind you. And inhale, bring the arms straight up to vertical. And then relax with the arms in the vertical for a moment. Release the work of the core. Let the humeral heads drop down into the sockets. Feel the body once again dropping into the pull of gravity, doing as little work as possible. And make some very small circles of the arm. Let the arm bones continue to drop deeply into the shoulder joint. And reverse your circle. And then we're going to bring the hands behind the head. Interlace the fingers. Open the elbows out wide. And with the inhale, observe the ribs flaring. They're broadening in the front and pulling up away from the mat a little bit in the back. With the exhale, we imprint the back ribs down and knit the front ribs together. We're in a neutral spine, no flat back, please. Keeping your lumbar in neutral. And inhale, let the ribs flare. Exhale, imprint the back ribs and knit the front ribs together. 
Pelvis stays steady, neutral pelvis, neutral lumbar. Inhale, let the ribs flare. Exhale, imprint the back and knit the front ribs, keeping your neutral pelvis in place. Maintain your ribs imprinted and knit. Take an inhale. With the exhale, add your inner core work, pelvic floor, belt of the transversus, and then take a head lift. And then lower slowly down. Maintain all of that core work, inner core, ribs knitting, imprinting, neutral spine and pelvis as you lift the head and lower it. Can do that one more time, lift and lower. And then relax a moment, take your elbows out wide. I want to raise the head as we go into our alternate leg lifts. Engage the inner core, knit and imprint the ribs, lift the head. We've got the support of the full core, and we'll keep the pelvis steady as we sneak the right foot up off of the mat. Then flex the foot and extend the leg out long, and inhale, bend the knee, and anchor, lower the foot down, and then take the left foot up off of the floor, and flex your foot and reach out through the heel, maintaining your neutral pelvis. Inhale to bend the knee, and keep stabilizing as you lower the left foot down. Knee engage, bringing the right foot up, and flex the foot, extend the leg, heel reaching away. Inhale, bend the knee and anchor, lower the foot down. Head is still lifted. Inhale, lift the foot. That's left leg, exhale, reach out through the heel. Inhale, bend the knee. Continue to maintain your neutral spine, pelvis, ribs knitting, imprinting one more time. Right foot up, exhale, flex, extend. Inhale, anchor as you bend and lower the foot back down, stay steady. Last one with the left foot and reach out through the heel and bend the knee and anchor again as you exhale to lower the foot and then lower your arms down, bring the head down and rest in neutral again. Arms wider than the mat, palms up, neck and shoulders easy. Then we're going to take a small ball or a folded towel or blanket and place it between the knees. Keep the arms wide and relaxed. Engage the inner core, hit and imprint the ribs and then squeeze the knees into the ball. And then very slowly, for a five count, release that squeeze. So you're isometrically resisting the unsqueezing of the ball. Stay engaged in the low core, exhale, squeeze in, and then unsqueeze very slowly. Keep the core anchor, and again, re-engage and slowly squeeze, and then slowly unsqueeze. Let's do that two more times. Pelvis and spine neutral the whole time, squeeze, and then slowly release the squeeze, staying engaged as the knees move slowly apart from each other. Last time, squeeze in. Now, if you have something behind your head, please take it out. I'm going to tilt the pelvis, pulling the pubic bone into the belly button, knit and imprint the ribs, and then raise the uh, hips up off of the mat, coming into a pelvic lift. As you come down, you're going to imprint the back rib. Keep scooping the belly button in, Pull the pubic bone towards the navel as you roll down through the lower spine. Keep squeezing on the ball and then release your tailbone back down and slowly soften the squeeze of the ball. Again, engage the inner core, the pelvic floor and the belt. Knit an imprint and squeeze on the ball. Scoop the belly in by pulling the pubic bone to the navel and then press into the feet, rolling up into a pelvic lift. Keep squeezing on the ball, drawing the pubic bone towards the navel, and then lower down. Feel the back ribs imprinting as you roll down through the mid back. Scoop the belly in, keep squeezing on the ball as you roll down through the lower back. The last thing you do is release the tailbone down to the floor and then slowly relax the squeeze of the ball. One more time, engage the inner core, squeeze the ball, Tilt the pelvis, knit and imprint the ribs, and keep squeezing the ball as you raise your hips up off the mat. 
and come down slowly, imprinting the back ribs, flipping the belly, and keep squeezing the ball, drawing the pubic bone in towards the uh, navel as you roll down through the lower spine, and then relax into neutral. We're going to engage the lower core, knit the ribs in, imprint the back ribs and lift the head and take the ball out, put it off to the side. And then lower down and bring both knees into the chest. And rock a little bit side to side on the sacrum. And we'll keep the right knee into the chest. Actually, sorry. We're going to come into a neutral tabletop for the hundred. So we'll move the knees out away from the chest and lift the feet as high as the knees. Once we have the neutral tabletop, we're going to regather that inner core, wrapping the transversus abdominis around. Feel your ribs knitting and imprinting. Lower your hands down to the floor and press down firmly, feeling the back arms activate, then lift your head. If you like, you can extend the legs out. And then we'll pulse the arms five times with exhale and five times with inhale. Exhale for five and inhale for five. Think of the belly flattening down and the waist broadening out without flattening the lower back. Exhale for five and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We'll stay anchored as you inhale. You can put the breath way up high in the chest. Exhale for five. And inhale. For one more set. Exhale. And inhale. And we bend the knees and pull the knees in close to the chest. Lengthen the back of the neck. Slowly turn your head from one side to the other. And then return to the center. If you like, you can place your uh, blanket behind the head again. And we're going to keep the right knee bent into the chest as we straighten the left leg out. And feel that stretch, lengthening the front left thigh, drawing the right knee towards the breastbone. And let's straighten the right leg up to the ceiling. Support the back of the leg and point the toes, then flex the foot back and point and flex, point and flex. Once more, point. Now we'll maintain that point. We connect with our inner core, our ribs knitting and imprinting, and then slowly circle the leg around. Want the pelvis to sit steady and the ribs to remain in a constant relationship with the pelvis. Two more times in that direction. And then reverse the circles. So you can place your fingers on your pelvis and your thumbs on your low ribs if you like. And then we're gonna bend the right knee to the chest. And using the left hand, pull to a spinal twist, bringing the right knee over towards the floor on the left and adjusting the right arm wherever it's comfortable. Pull to the center and bring both knees into the chest. Check that the back of the neck is long, shoulders relaxed. And straighten the right leg out, drawing the left knee towards the breastbone. And then extend the left leg straight up towards the ceiling. Take the hands on the back thigh, point the foot, and flex the foot back. And point, and flex. Point, flex, point, flex. And then we'll maintain the point. Connect with the low core, connect with the rib knitting and imprinting. With the pelvis stable, circle the leg. Five times around in each direction. Keep feeling your belt 
Pulling snugly across the front of the pelvis. The ribs knitting together and heading towards the opposite back pocket. The back ribs staying down and steady. And reversing to five in the other direction. And then we'll bend the left knee. Use the right hand. Pull into a spinal twist. Left knee towards the floor on the right. Left arm adjusted wherever you're comfortable. And then breathe into the twist. to the back again and bring both knees into the chest. Then we're going to release the feet to the floor. If you have a ball, you can take it in your hands. We're preparing for the roll-ups. We'll hold the ball up above the breastbone. Engage the inner core. Yeah, and imprint the ribs and tilt the pelvis and straighten the right leg out along the floor with the pelvis staying tilted so the back is flat. Keep your back flat and take the left leg out as well. Imprint those back ribs, keep tilting the pelvis and reach your arms back towards the wall behind you. The whole back reaching down towards the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale, we engage low core, ribs knee, imprinting, scooping the belly, and then use your inhale to roll yourself up. And once you're up, lengthen, and bend down over the legs, relaxing the neck and shoulders, emphasizing the stretch in the lower back. Let your elbows bend so you're not pulling your arms too far forward. And lift those slowly down, take the ball in line with the breastbone, draw the navel to the spine, and roll down one vertebra at a time through the lower back first, then the mid back, finally all the way back with the arms, and let the abdominal work go. Take a big stretch, and then reset inner core, ribs knitting the imprinting, tilting the pelvis. Lengthening the, lengthening the whole back down towards the mat, and then roll up with an inhale. Keep the feet on the floor, keep the shoulders relaxed, sit tall at the top, and then tilt forward and think of the breastbone moving far away from the navel, neck and shoulders relaxed, elbows bent. And then sit tall with the ball in line with the breastbone. Scoop the belly and roll yourself down. One vertebra at a time through the lower back. Keep scooping, imprinting through the mid back. And reaching back. And once you're all the way back, let go. Take a big breath. Set it up one more time. Inner core, ribs knit and, knit and imprint. Tilt the pelvis. Scoop the belly in. Inhale to lift. Lengthen and then bend forward. Keep the sense of the sternum lengthening forward away from the navel, the crown of the head reaching towards the toes. Be careful that you don't over round the upper back. Let it throw in some length. The chest should not feel compressed. And then we sit tall, ball in front of the breastbone. Re-engage in your core, scoop the belly and roll down. One vertebra at a time through the lower back and through the mid back and through the upper spine. And then lengthen and reach out, big long stretch. And float the ball up to the ceiling. Keep your arms there and bend the knees one at a time. And come to this relaxed neutral for a moment. 
Again, doing as little as possible, giving into gravity's pull. And then we'll take uh, the ball off to the side and turn over onto the stomach. Let's bring the arms into a cactus position and turn the face to the left side. Engage the inner core. So that belt wrapping around, glide the ribs together. And as you exhale, we're going to lift the chest and head. With the inhale, turn the head into the center and lift your left leg up. Keep the pelvis stable so you're still even across the front. Then use an exhale to lower down. Turn your face over to the right side, lower the leg, and relax. Re-engage the inner core, glide the ribs together, and lift the chest and head. And then with the inhale, turn the head into the center and float the right leg up off of the mat. Stay even at the front of the pelvis. And then as you exhale, lower the leg, lower the head, turn and look to the right, I'm sorry, the left side. Release. Engage inner core, glide the ribs, and lift chest and head up off of the floor. Inhale, and turn the head to the center, raise the left leg, keeping the pelvis level, and then lower down. And look over to the right. Anchor, lift the chest and head. And then turn the head center and raise the right leg. Keep that movement small so the pelvis stays balanced. Then lower down, turn the face left, bring the leg back down. We'll do it one more time each uh, side. Anchor and lift. Chest and head come up first. And then we turn the head, look center, and raise the left leg. And lower down, turn the head to the right. Last time, anchor and lift. And then rotate the head to the center and raise the right leg. And then we're going to lower down, bring your hands under your forehead, come into the center and relax. And then bring your hips back onto your heels. Take the child's poses to rest your back out. And then we'll turn to the left side. And we're going to start with the knees bent at 90 degrees. So you've got your knees and feet both at the front of your mat, neck and shoulders comfortable. Draw that right hip forward so your right knee is in line with the left. Find your belt, wrap it nice and snug around your hips, and then lift and lower that top leg. We'll do 10. Keep the pelvis steady. Rolling the right thigh out in the socket. Foot stays down. When you're done with those, relax completely. And then open the angle of the hips a little bit so your knees are still at the front of the mat but your feet are down underneath you. Once again, roll the hips forward and then engage your inner core. Keep the pelvis steady as you roll the right leg out in the socket 10 times. External rotation, you should feel the muscles in the right buttock working. Be sure the hip is staying still. And when you're done, relax. And then finally, open the front of the hips completely, coming into zero degree hip flexion. Knees are bent, feet behind you. Wrap your belt around, also lift your organs up off of the floor, engaging around the waist, and then roll the thigh out in the socket 10 more times. And release, and now straighten the legs out. Feet are a little forward of the hips and top hip rolls forward just slightly. Find your belt 
And then engage your organ lift, thinking of your internal organs being lifted away from the floor up towards the ceiling. Top hand on the top, waist or fingertips on the mat, and exhale to lift both legs and lower them slowly back down. And lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Get the power from the belly, lift, and lower. This is the last one, we're gonna lift and stay, and then flex the feet back and squeeze the toes. Point the feet and then fan the toes and flex back, squeeze, point, Fan and flex, squeeze, point, fan and flex. Keep your toes open and reach out. Grab something and pull back. Open the toes and reach, squeeze the toes and pull back one more time. Open, reach, squeeze and pull back. And then release. Let's drop from the knees uh, forward and hop into a mermaid sit for a moment. Sit tall. Taking the left arm up over your ear, take a side bend. Then bring the left elbow down to the mat. Drop your right sit bone towards the mat. It's not going to touch, but reach in that direction and stretch your right arm up long over the ear. Big, long stretch for the right side. And then sit tall. I want to turn as far to the right as possible, looking over the right shoulder. And then the other way, as far to the left as possible, looking over the left shoulder. And then back into the center. Rotate, say you're sitting with your knees bent, float the arms out in front of you, scoop your belly, and roll yourself down onto the back, slowly one vertebra at a time. And then reach out long through your arms and your legs. And then we're going to roll to the right side. Bend the knees at 90 degree hip flexion. Both the knees and the feet are at the front of the mat. Engage your inner core, your pelvic floor, and your belt. Drop that left hip forward and we're rolling the leg out in the socket. 10 times. Stable pelvis. External rotation of the left leg. When you're done with those 10, relax and open the angle of the hips a little bit. Bring the knees to the front of the mat. The feet are down in line with your sit bones. Again, rock forward so that the left hip, the left knee is in line with the right knee. Engage your inner core and with the pelvis staying stabilized, roll the left leg out in the socket again. 10 more times. Make sure your pelvis stays still. And then relax. And once again, open the angle of the hips a little bit more as straight down the front of the leg as you can. Engage your inner core and also think of lifting your organs up off of the mat. And then we'll roll the leg out in the socket. Once again, 10 more external rotations of the left leg. Steady pelvis. The power is coming from the buttocks, the hip extensors and the hip rotators. And when you're done, we'll have both legs coming out straight, feet slightly in forward of the hip, in front of the hip. Roll the left hip a little forward. Top hand on the waist or fingertips on the mat. Engage your inner core. Lift your organs up off of the mat. Raise both legs up and then lower them down. And again, lift and lower. Don't use your neck. Use your uh, obliques if you need help from your fingers. Better put your fingertips on the floor um, than strain the neck and shoulders. On this last one, we'll keep the legs lifted and flex the feet and squeeze the toes and point the feet, fan the toes and flex back. Squeeze, point, fan and flex, squeeze, point, fan and flex and reverse it. Reach out with the toes spread and squeeze the toes like you're grabbing something and pull back open. Reach, squeeze and pull back one last time and lower down. 
Then we'll displace the legs to the front and come up into a mermaid set. And we're going to reach the right arm up over the head and bend towards the left. And lower the right forearm down to the mat. Reach your left sit bone down towards the floor as you stretch your left arm up and over. Open the breastbone. And then sit tall, and we're going to turn as far to the left as possible, looking over the left shoulder. And then as far to the right as possible, looking out over the right shoulder. And then come to the center, and we'll rotate, bringing the knees into the chest, and gently bending the head forward, softly stretching the back, relax into this gentle forward bend. And then open the breastbone, sit tall. Re-engage your inner core, find your pelvic floor, find your belt. Wrap the ribs around like you're reaching into the opposite back pockets. Cross the ankles and stand yourself up. And we'll come up into stand with the feet parallel. Reaching down equally through the ball of the big toe, the ball of the middle, little toe, the center of the heel, up through the crown of the head. Engage the inner core, wrap the ribs around, and roll the arms out of the sockets. Feel the opening of the chest, lifting of the breastbone, and relax the arms down and stand tall. And that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you very much. Have a good rest of the day. Um, next Wednesday, the 28th. Yes, the 28th, I will not be teaching this class, so please use a previous one. Um, this Saturday, we're in person at Concord Hall, but you need to uh, pre-register, so let me know if you want to come to that. Okay, thank you very much.